This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Got a new Windows laptop or desktop box under the tree? Lucky you! Did Windows look a little different? What you were looking at is Windows 8, probably, in the Metro interface. It's the first big change to Windows in 17 years. People call it a tablet-oriented operating system because basically, when you're in Metro, it wants to, well, make everything full screen. For example, the weather application. And it really wants to get into your lifestyle. You can put in your email accounts, your contact list messaging, none of which I'm gonna share with you because I don't wanna find a whole bunch of strange emails going into the new year. The thing about Metro, right, it's, it's, it's totally radically different. The first thing you need to know, this button down here in the corner, the desktop button, takes you to the classic Windows desktop, which I'm looking at right now. And that will make your life easier if Metro just seems to be a bit much. Two, it takes practice. A few shortcuts go a long way to make mm -hmm. Windows 8 more enjoyable. When people went from Windows 3.1 to Windows 95, they were like, this is the end of the world. And I have some super geeky friends who were like, this is the end of the world. And then two weeks later, they were like, oh, check it out. So the charms, I no longer have to drag over here to go to the charms. I just hit Command-C and the charms come up. Ooh. It's really amazing, right? Yeah, and, and uh, Windows key and D brings mm -hmm. you to that desktop. Windows key and W brings you to the search area. Windows key and C, as I said, as you said, yeah. does charms. Actually, I just learned that just now, so I'm really excited because that was kind of a pain in the butt. Well, it's funny, right? Because if you're on a tablet, it's pretty obvious, but if you're in Windows 8, it's really funny because the edges, you normally don't really pay attention to the corners on right. a PC, but look at this. If I go over here, it's gonna cycle through the apps. If I go down here, it brings me back to the start menu. If I go up here, it's gonna bring up the charms menu. And you know, little things like the power key being buried, that kind of stuff takes some getting used to. Yeah. If you decide you can't stand Metro, what you want is classic shell. It'll boot you straight to the desktop, let you tweak the whole look of the interface, pretty much however you like it, even if you like a really old school like Windows 95 version. That normally, I wouldn't say like something like classic shell should be the first thing you do with a new Windows box, but folks are kind of aggro about Windows 8 Metro. Um, like with any Windows machine, go in and check to make sure you have updates. So go into search, settings, updates. This is the long way to do it, but I like to show off the search. Make sure you actually have Windows Update running and turn on, basically the first thing you should do is install, check and install the updates immediately. That's important. Security Essentials, they're built into Windows 8. They work great for me. Robert Heron uses I think you're using them also, right? Mm -hmm. None of us really use third-party uh, security software. Um, and if I don't automatically do a fresh, clean operating system install on a new PC, I turn off, I yank any free antivirus trials, I uninstall them from the machine, I make sure Essentials is turned on. Next up, Chrome. We talk about it all the time. It is our favorite browser. It is clean, it is fast, it ties into our lives, so it makes sure it knows everything we're doing, and I just prefer it. Chrome is really awesome. I also install Fox, it's PDF reader. Metro, if you launch a PDF, uh, or I should say Windows 8 automatically launches PDF files in um, Metro. So you go like, oh, I need to read that washing machine instruction manual or cut and paste information from the PDF that Bob sent. And all of a sudden, wham, your entire window is nothing but a PDF. So I basically... Which can be good and bad. Could be good and bad. Yeah. Uh, Robert prefers the PDF reader in Chrome. I prefer a standalone PDF reader. Do what you like. If you don't like uh, Fox and Sumatra PDFs, another good alternative. Um, and then, of course, comes Steam. Everybody loves Steam. What's Steam for, Veronica? I can't remember. It is for the video games. <laughs> it is for the video games. It is great. iTunes for the iPhone. VLC, it's my favorite video playback tool. Mm -hmm. Paint.net for editing images. Dropbox, Crash Plan for automatic backups. And I am pretty good to go. Now, once you've got all your favorite apps loaded up and your settings all tweaked, you should make a backup image. You should clone the, your operating system install with all the settings in there so it's absolutely perfect. And if you wipe this one out, you can reboot it, start fresh all over again. Clonezilla is a great tool for that, and it's free and available on the internets. And we've talked about how to image your operating system a whole bunch of times on the show. Just go to revision3.com slash techzilla and search for image or clone your system? Yeah, we had a great one uh, that Michael found for the dailies called Rec Image. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, I, I use that on my on my uh, Windows 8 machine, and it's really nice. It's very easy to make a Windows 8 image and to do a nice. uh, restore, find your restore points. Um, so yeah, that's another one that I would definitely recommend as well. Now, go play with Windows 8 shortcuts, search the Metro App Store, and enjoy your new machine. Need a new domain name? Consider registering a new .com. A .com domain name is the best. It's immediately understood and it gives credibility to your website no matter what name you choose. 
And the best place to get a new .com domain is at Domain.com. We on the show here like Domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and easy to use. Plus, Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter, at Domain.com, and great customer support make it a fun place to do business. Hey, we have an awesome coupon code with a big 20% discount off of Domain.com's already low prices. Just use the coupon code TECHZILLA when you check out at Domain.com. And that's 20% off, folks. Big time savings. Please don't forget, give the TechZilla coupon code some love. When you think domain names, think domain.com. And that's a .com. 